in the last video we talked a bit about the law of gravitational attraction compared that to our weight so the force of our weight um, and how that kind of works and how they're connected right? we said for example that the law of gravitational attraction is force of gravitation equals rotational constant times mass of object one and mass of object two divided by the distance between the two and we said that for example if mass of object one is us mass of object two is, is the planet earth then we have and gravitation constant is 6.67 times 10 to the power of minus 11. And the distance between us is the radius of the Earth. Then we can put all that into a formula. And we'll end up getting a value of roughly 688. But I'm just going to write 686 newtons because that's what it's meant to have been. And there might have been just some rounding up errors. But basically it's 686 newtons. But what, and what that actually meant was that, for example, we experience a force of 686 newtons because of the actual gravitational field of the earth right so the earth itself is producing a gravitational field which is pushing us towards it and that gravitational field has a force of 686 newtons so that's the earth i'm gonna keep writing earth with two e's uh the earth onto us but because this is to do with attraction there's going to be an equal and opposite kind of um, attraction as well between the, the, the us and the Earth. So if we look at what kind of impact we have, we also have an impact. The Earth is attracted to us by a force of 686 newtons as well. Right? So 686 newtons is what uh, we put onto the Earth. So we onto the Earth. But remember, even though the values are the same, the difference is quite substantial because the mass of the Earth was such a big mass, right? Six times ten to the power of twenty-four. It's a massive mass. So even if we're being, if we're pulling, if we're pulling the Earth of six point ten to the power of twenty-four kilograms with, with an actual force of six hundred eighty-six newtons, it's not going to move much, right? Because it's such a big mass. Whereas if the Earth pushes onto us a mass of seventy kilograms with that same force, we're going to be pulled towards it because. That's a huge difference, right? Because it's easier to pull a small mass than a huge mass, especially if we have the same amount of force. So even though we're exerting the same amount of force, it's actually still um, a big difference in terms of who wins out in the end. So the Earth is pulling on us. We're pulling on the Earth, but the, our pull, it doesn't really make a bit, big of a difference. But we also said that, for example, when, talk, when we're talking about weight, what weight actually is, is more or less this part. So when we're talking about weight, it's more or less... What the, what the Earth does onto us, right? It's because, remember, the definition of weight was the um, acceleration due to gravitational field that we're in, and we are in Earth's gravitational field, so our acceleration, or our force experienced by the acceleration is 686 newtons onto the Earth, and it, which is why if we put all of that into an equation, type the acceleration times the actual mass, we would get the same value, we'd get 686 newtons. Because all we're saying here is um, we're being pushed towards the Earth by 686 newtons because the gravitational field of the Earth is so strong as a 9.8 meters per second per um, per second, and our mass is 70 kilograms. Right? But um, what I also did last time is we figured out after realizing that these two equations are more or less one and the same, we put them together and then we reassembled them we end up getting this equation. So gravity equals mass of the planet, in this case, planet Earth, divided by the radius squared, so the radius between the center and us. Um, and then we have this actual, we had this data in the last video, and because using just the mass and radius of each different planet, we could figure out the, the acceleration that we would experience on that planet. We know that the Earth had 9.84. Hopefully we've gotten 1.624 surface gravity of the moon and 3.62 for the gravity of Mars, right? So this is what we did in the last video. We calculated the actual gravity for these different planets. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to determine the weight. So what kind of weight we have on these different types of planets. So the stop point says analyze information using expressions force equals mass times gravity to the, so that's the weight, right? Um, to determine the weight force for a body on Earth. So we have to compare Earth to that from some other body, it's the same body, same you, but just on different planets. So we're going to have to compare us on Earth to us on Moon and us on Mars and see how our weight changes. And all we need is we need this data from that table, so the, the gravity, and 
our um, weight if we have a mass of 70 kilograms, right? So again, we need to use this equation because there's a dot point. Force equals mass times acceleration, and that would be, from the case of weight, weight equals gram, uh, gravity times mass. And we can get the, so say we want to have the force on Earth, which means that the weight on Earth, so that's what that means, the weight on Earth, equals 9.84. We can get that from the table. We did the calculation in the last video. And then times it by our mass, that was 70 kilograms. All right, so if we put that in a calculator, oops, sorry, put that in a calculator, 9.84 times 70 equals 688.8 newtons. 688 newtons. And if we have the moon, for example, let's say we have the moon, and we put in Instead of putting 9.84, we put in 1.62 times 70. Um, so same mass, but a different type of gravity. And now, so on the moon, we weigh a lot less. So on the moon, our actual weight on the moon would be, even though we have the same mass, our weight would be 113.4. And the reason why, is because we have a different type of gravity acting on us. And then for Mars, we have we have those same values, except for now we have the same mass still, mass doesn't change, but we have, instead of having 1.62, we've got 3.62, 3.62. And then that gives us an actual, so our weight on Mars, it's gonna be different again. And it's going to be, 253.4 newtons. So that means on every different planet we will weigh, even though we have the same mass, we weigh different amounts and that's due to different types of gravities that are on the, that planet because there are different masses that are, that are involved, right? And one thing I just realized, I kept saying that it was 686, but I just did a calculation and showed me a 688. So maybe even the 688 I had to begin with was correct, not the 686 that I kept saying. So Sorry if I confuse anyone, but it looks like the actual Newtons on Earth that a 70 kilogram person experiences is 688 Newtons, not 686 Newtons. But hopefully that didn't confuse you guys too much. But dot point just says, analyze information using the expression force equals mass times gravity to determine the weight force of body on Earth and for that same mass on body of different planets. But basically what you're going to be asked to do is you're going to have Earth, you're going to have this data, you might have the gravity, or you might have... Yeah, you're going to have the gravity and you're going to have the mass of that person. And you should be calculating the actual weight. Or you could be given something else. You might be given the weight and the mass and you're meant to calculate the gravity. But basically you need to know how to use the formula force equals mass times gravity, which is the same, same as saying weight equals mass times gravity. Right? And also you need to be able to know how to figure out gravity itself because the previous dot point says you need to be able to figure out gravity. Right, so using this equation is also one equation you need to know. But um, those are the two main equations we've covered so far that you need to know. Hopefully that was useful.